ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another edition of the Game of the Week. Coming at you, Alexander is making everybody upset with his OP skills. Um, we are uh, just about done. With uh, the Greeks. I'm going to take over this one last city. Which should be pretty good. It's going to give everybody uh, full health. Because we're going to be taking the Oracle. Um, it's got a, a, both a campus. And a. Um, encampment with barracks. Which is nice. And we're also going to pick up dyes. Which we don't have currently. So that'll be good. Um, there's lots of farmland, so we'll be able to heal up if uh, any injuries are taking place. But I'll prefer not to. I prefer not to um, eat up the farms. I mean, they, we always repair them later. But everyone's going to get full health anyway, so there's no point in worrying about destroying farms. Um, I'm going to possibly send these two guys over here take it as barb hut before it becomes trouble um yeah just like that um so it's time to move in let's get the Oh shoot, the battering ram can't get there in one... Ah. It can't get there. I was thinking that this road went through here, but the road actually goes there. Ah, oh, no, no. Because we're losing this. You know what I could do though? I could potentially take this down. You know what, I'm gonna try that. Now the battering ram. Oh no, the battering ram. I should have done that. Oh no, because I had to put the battering ram there. I wouldn't have been able to do it. Because now the battering ram is not being allowed to move past. And it worked the last time though. I wonder what the difference was. It worked the last time. Um. All right, so we're gonna get hit by the walls here the one time, but that's fine. Let's move everybody in position. Oh. Well, there. Uh, let's move him there. Move him there. Move him there. And there. It's all good to go. Uh, let me go like this. And I want to set a trade route back here so that I have a, a pathway for my units to get all the way to the front lines. What I may actually do though is actually wait and put it in here and have the trade route come out of here. Because this is a little bit closer to the front line, so I'll wait, and then I can just have it run up there. Plus, I want to take care of this barb camp before I allow a trader to do that wide open field like that. So, I like that idea. Uh, this guy... Uh... 
Um, over here, I was talking earlier, I, I think I want to get to nationalism. That's really the key one for the culture. It's going to take a while to get there, so I'm going to need the boosts. Um... If I can. What I was thinking is I might build some theater squares and just try and find some ways to get culture as fast as I can. Every little bit will count, you know. And try to get out to nationalism. It's kind of silly, but nationalism is the only way you can get... That's the way you have to build your cores is the way of getting cultures. What you gotta do? Hey, what's up? No idea, bro. The Jedwiga scenario on Deity Difficulty? I've never tried it. I've only done a couple of those scenarios. I've never done the Jedwiga one. Um, I think it's got to do with religion, that one, right? He's clearly at war with them and he's in my way. Ignore the request. At any rate. Walls aren't too bad, but we'll be able to crush them with our knights. Sixty-three. The marauding <laughs> promotion. This guy marauding? Yeah, he does. I'm gonna uh, have this guy step back. This guy move in. Get that marauding. This guy's in my way, big time. I can only get one more hit. I'm not gonna be able to take it this turn. Ah, that's frustrating. This guy take his promotion. Uh, generally speaking, you upgrade when you can, but for special units, sometimes they have special abilities where you want to keep them. Um, for a while, I was keeping a couple of my... Um, uh, what do you call the dang things? Um, my heteroids, because they get that plus five uh, general points every time they kill a unit. And I was keeping them to kill some of the smaller units off. But it got to the point where I'm like, yeah, there's not much point anymore. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and rock the worlds of... Uh, that guy stands still. That guy stands still. This guy is going to go over there. Um... But yeah, it's, I guess to the point where if they don't have the military strength, it's you know it's just kind of a waste to worry about it too much. We go around and repair some stuff, work that tile, repair that, then maybe come out here. I want to. I'm gonna actually buy that tile because the and the culture is it's worth it. Oh, it's two turns. I get it anyway. Forget it. Uh, that culture will be nice um, to help push as well. But yeah, theater squares is going to be nice. I got this going. I'm going to try and get some more theater squares and push that hard if I can. 
Uh, this guy's gonna go here. And attack there. Did not get a wipe. Uh, this guy's gonna skip one more turn. Next turn, we'll switch him into Euphasis. Uh, the market, the market, uh, skip. <clears throat> that poor warrior is just trekking through the lands like a boss. What is this guy doing? Oh, I think I was sending him out here. Oh, and I was going to set this guy out here because maybe I do a chop. Chop and mine, maybe. have enough. Uh, I think I'm going to buy... Uh, where is... Do I have him established? Out here. I'm going to buy um, a Builder with Faith in here. It's going to be a 6 charger. There's not a lot to do out here, but I might as well build him, get him where the Ang is settled. I'm trying to do some work. Um... Uh, somebody who could use a promotion. That guy could use a promotion. I'm trying to get this guy's promotion. I'm gonna go... Hit with this guy. And then finish with this guy. Later, bro. Experience, yeah. <clears throat> now the next idea. Everyone's full health, by the way. How, how b b b b beautiful is that? Um, Oh, they have an industrial zone built. No. No, no, no. Oh, well. Got the achievement. Build three aerodome near the island Vulcan Wonder. GG's, bro. Okay, so Germany is next on the hit list. Um, actually, where this guy is? This guy here. Uh, and so I want to have a lot of guys in the position here. How big is their army? 236. Okay. Um... I want to have a lot of guys in the position. Get that battering ram to here next turn. So next turn we're at war with them. Uh, I can get, I'm pretty sure I can get one of these guys to here. I'm not sure if they can hit. Uh, these guys I can flank around. Get the battering ram in there. And take the walls down uh, I probably have I might be able to actually take the walls down up that too with the back door hit there uh, 
Uh, this guy needs to be turned into a musket, man. Do I have on the... Uh... Yeah, I do. Well, I've got that on, because I'm going to want to change that out soon. I'm going to turn those into musket men as best I can. Uh... Oh, shoot. I thought I was going to be able to... Ah, move an upgrade. Oh, well. Uh, that guy's going to transfer there. This worker is... Little point there, I guess. Uh, repairs done. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, university's done. go armory and then possibly purchase while it's still cheap. I can get a pretty cheap builder, I think. I'm going to grab a builder in there. I'm going to purchase one in here as well. How much do I have? I got three. three. I got some stuff to do. That's going to be pretty busy. But this guy doesn't have that much to do over here. Some chops, I suppose. That should be good because I'm bringing a guy up here as well and a guy... Oh, wait. That guy's going there? Okay. Then... Uh... Dang. All right, let's go like that and have this guy go up here. That should be enough there. Um, 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 um. Let's see. I'm seriously considering Theater Square instead of Commercial Hub. Just because I need the culture. I am. I need the culture. That'd be a plus two. It's pretty solid. Um, the other thing I was considering doing, I forgot, is I was thinking about building the. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about building the Forbidden City in here. I could chop out the stone into the walls. Um, and then I have three trees that I could chop as well. Should be able to get that, no problem. Uh, the big key would be... Uh, get the production in this city below 20. Okay, that's pretty good there. And then I can go... Alright, so I'm going to have to stick a, stick a turn into the walls, or into the armory, then two turns into the walls, and chop that stone into the walls. And then I'll have some uh, trees to chop down as well. Okay. I think I can live with all that. Taking the walls of the encampment, is it worth it? Well, oh, hello there. Is taking the walls of the encampment worth it? It's not that big a deal, because it's not going to hurt a knight that much to get hit by those walls once, maybe twice at the most. But it's also not going to be very difficult to take the walls down, because um, with, with the battering ram sitting beside it, it's going to be, like, extremely easy. Is that is there a road going through there though? I don't think there's a oh maybe there is a road going through there. I don't know. Yeah, there is. Okay, so I should be able to get that battering ram up onto there and take down the wall there. The key will be to take this wall down first, but either way, the the wall will come down here er, very easily with a knight and a battering ram and a general. Why every streamer YouTuber is so good at war and DD and I. <laughs> Uh, I don't really, I don't know. I don't really think of myself as all that good at it, to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't have a ton of practice at it, but... Well, I shouldn't say I don't have a lot of practice at it. Compared to a lot of people, I don't have a lot of practice at it. 
Um, because I don't a lot the other game types I play a lot more, but I do have a fair amount of experience playing this particular game type. Uh compared to some. Try there. And then maybe I can get a road completed down to here. I don't think it's going to let me get a road to there. Almost need uh, one in the middle. Uh, nothing that's going to help me there right now, so we'll save that. And next turn. crossbowman will be a little bit annoying but as long as it's not as many as they had with uh down here i'll be okay so uh i just heard another barb camp pop up i just want to make sure it's not in the path of my trader okay there's nothing in here um oh is that it that must be it there shoot yeah that must be it he just spawned in there I have to go take care of the, 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 that. Um, okay. You go there. You go there. And kill him. Uh, musket man. Musket man. Musket man. No one culture city state. Yeah, not one. Not a single one. All right, Germany. I apologize, but it's just going to have to be a thing. Boom, boom. Uh, this guy is going to here. This guy's going to here. You are going to there. You are going to there. You to there. Wait, you there you to there you to there So the city stands for another day. Hey, Shuffman, how you doing, bud? Um, so we are going to get hit by a couple guys here in that crossbowman. I could take the wall. I don't think I'll take the walls completely down. I think I'll take like I would take like seventy percent of them, no, not take them all down. Um, so I think I'm just going to just stay there with that guy. And... Well, I could technically. Problem is, there's going to be a city there. So if I step in there, I'm going to get hit by walls anyway, right? Because there's going to be a city there, and I'm going to get hit by the walls of that. So if I step in here and take these walls down, I'm still going to take another hit. So I'm just going to stay as I am right now. Um, This guy can't get any closer. I'm just going to move him to there, I guess. Uh, you go to there. You are going to... Oh no, it won't go to press love? <sighs> Not the actual. I have to send it back to Athens. I have to do the trade route. It doesn't really matter, I guess, because the, tr the road goes up there. But I wanted to get, get it to cut through here instead of having to go down there or not. 
Alright, I gotta transfer it back because apparently Press Love's too far away now. Uh, this knight here, you mean? Yeah, this knight's already out of movement because he had to cross, he had to go into the, uh, uh, into the woods and then cross a river. And that was, this was two movement and crossing the river is three movement and that was the five he had. But all these guys have already attacked. What other one? The only, oh, can this guy get there you think? Oh, you're right. I thought that that guy... You're right. I didn't think that guy could get there. You're right. 100%. Maybe? Yeah, good call. I thought that I had moved that guy up from here somewhere and he didn't have that much movement left. I did not realize I had full movement with that guy. That's sweet. Very nicely done. GG's, bro. Um, now, the question is, do I want to keep this city... Hmm. Heidelberg looks nice. Um, the capital, of course, I'll want to keep. This doesn't have a campus, and it's it doesn't have a commercial oven and campus, so that does make me kind of want to keep it. But it's not a particularly good city. Why would you not keep a city? Uh, well, the biggest thing is amenities. You got to keep everybody happy, and the more cities you have, the more amenities you need, and the more population you have, the more amenities you need. Um, and because I'm going to be taking over all of the people, uh, you only want to keep cities that are a major benefit to you. For instance, having really good tiles with districts that you want. Uh, I'll obviously have to keep the capitals. I kept this city because it had a, a campus and a um, an encampment. Um, so those things both appealed to me and not to mention it had a, a wonder so um, That's why I kept this city and then same kind of thing up here Like there's a bunch of cities I raised but this city had a commercial hub a campus and an encampment Although I think I built the encampment, but it had the commercial hub in the in the campus and then these both had campuses as well and a commercial hub So and one was the capital, but yeah, if they're if they're good cities that I feel like are can be beneficial to me that I'll keep them but you don't want to keep every single city because eventually you're just not going to have the amenities to keep everybody happy. Wow, the Alcazar gives plus two culture. Ooh. That's interesting. I've never built them before, but that's interesting. Norm said you're right. Did I wrote in the wrong shape? What are you talking about? I am more than more than willing to give kudos to those who bring the knowledge. And I do it all the time. I've probably even done it to you a couple times, Kinsho. Chat trying to troll me. What a bunch of jerks. Uh, the Hong Kong's way down there. I don't want that. I was thinking Press Lab, maybe. I have a nice. That's two production, five gold. That's not bad. Get that road complete to there at least, and then it's not looking too bad to here. <laughs> yes, that's true. When people are wrong, I am not afraid to tell them how fundamentally incorrect that they are. Um, but hey, that's just that's just me keeping it real, bro. That's just me keeping it real. Can't decide if I want to keep that city yet. I can't make up my mind. Um, I 
I'm actually going to send one to Pella and see, and maybe I might send a trade route to Press Lab from here and see if I can't get the trade route to go through here somewhere and have a more direct line. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid to keep it real though, bro. I'm not afraid to keep it real. Um, do I want to keep that city? I'm going to say no, I think. It doesn't have a campus. Um... It has an encampment without a barracks and a commercial hub without a market and no significantly powerful tiles. We're gonna burn it to the ground. Uh, there. Making very, very, very attractive farms. Uh, this is almost pop 10. We'll be able to make build another theater square. Really want to push that culture now. I'm glad I thought of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did the German knights come from, bro? What? The lowest How do they have 50 science and they're... 50 science a turn, and they're at knights. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession, so that Whoa. in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. Wow, 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 wow. Um, um, yeah. That's interesting. I do have really, really powerful musketmen that can uh, rock the worlds. Of knights. And my knights are very well promoted as well, so that's also very good for me. Uh, I th yeah, I believe so, Kinsho. They do, yeah. If they have a barracks. In fact, yes, I know for sure it does because I have, in this city right here, this city's got the Basilicoi Paytas, and I just took that city. I definitely have not built anything in it. So that had a camp with a, um, an encampment with a arm, or with a thing in it. Although I have to repair it because it's damaged right now. Yeah, it definitely does. I was pretty sure it did, but I was just like, let me check on that. Oh, you know who that is? What's up, girl? Uh, okay, this guy is like really close to dead. We need to pull him out. He needs to get home. He needs to get home. Um, other things that need to happen include I'm just trying to think about where I want to put people. Hmm. Yeah, it's good to know, yeah. Yeah, with campus without, uh, camps without, not campus. Yeah. Um... Okay, so these guys have... Oh, I know why. I don't have... These guys aren't... These guys are... Uh... 
I need a uh, industrial. No, not industrial. I need a Renaissance era uh, general. Do I have a general that does Renaissance? This one clearly doesn't. That's classic medieval. That's medieval Renaissance. This one does. This one does. The one that I have near the Muscomen is the one that's not even affecting. Good job. Good job. Problem is, is that it, oh, it's only a matter of the start of the turn, so he doesn't gain movement. Once, if you move the general in after the turn started, you don't gain the movement. You can see that it's got it here, but it doesn't add it onto the front end. It just adds it on the back. So annoying. Okay. Because these are going to be plus four movement knights, or uh, musketmen right here. I'm going to move these guys into position as best I can. trying to do some quick math here I want to encircle this guy with three people and take him out and then still be able to get some hits on this dude and then just and then have night I might have these knights or at least some of these knights come over here and take some shots there like at least these two knights and this knight will probably do work here these two knights I'd like to see about doing over here. 58, 58, 67. The problem is, I actually kind of needed this guy to do the last hit, because now I'm not going to be able to get adjacent to this guy with any other units. That sucks. I wanted to get a hit on him. I actually needed to go hit, hit, and then have this guy finish him so I could bring another guy in to hit this guy. Okay. Um... There. And then there. Uh, let me go. See, I don't want to let anybody get ganged up on too much. next turn oh he has a great general over here whoa 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 okay he won't affect these guys he'll only affect that guy that's actually a loss for me This guy is not going to be affected either way, so I might as well move this guy back here. Give him a little bit more range. Uh, they would all cover... The worst one is classic medieval. As long as they cover medieval, every general... Early general covers knights. It's The, the classic medieval is the lowest general. So it, they would be covered, 100%. 
This is a tight match. I think I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let him hit. Because if I hit, I'll get lower on health. And then he could go range attack, range attack, and then hit, and it might be tight. So I'm just going to let myself stay full health there. This guy's in position to eat that farm. Let him go to there. Everybody else is in good position there. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, they have, uh, I did not think that they have knights. They didn't have walls that would represent thinking they would have knights. So that didn't make me, th I didn't think they would have them. And then they had a bunch of them roll in. And like technology wise, they're in that area. They're in that area where they would have them. Like they're, they're slightly past knights as far as research is concerned. Or they're right in here. They may have one thing in there, but. I, I just didn't think they'd have a bunch of them around. Like, they would have just gotten it, but they must have just did some upgrading and got them quick. Because they just got there, right? It's interesting. In five turns, I could start doing my uh, cavalry. Well, not. They don't. They, they didn't war any city states. They're surrounded by city states. They didn't war any of them. Um. The encampments wouldn't determine whether or not they had knights. It's the science that they would have to have. They just got to the knight technology. It's whether or not they had the science. And I, they just got the tech. I didn't think they'd have five or six knights laying around. Just because they just got it. But they must have had the money to upgrade a bunch of guys, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. This guy can actually hit him. I can get to here and attack. I'm going to go ahead and get first hit. Actually ended up being a wash, 32-32. Um, but I should be okay. He won't kill me on the counter attack. So that's fine. The big key is that I want to get this muskman. This is going to be a four-turn muskman. I want to be able to get this muskman in to hit any uh, knights that are uh, not covered. Get this guy to the road. Road. Oh, I forgot to make a dedication. Should always do that first. Uh, I could go with another, monumenta monum bleh, another monumentality. Um, international trade routes provide plus three gold for every special district in the foreign city. That's o I've only got trade routes going to some city states. That's only going to be maximum three gold per. Uh, plus three starting population in the cities. Blah, 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 blah. Plus two movement for naval and embark. Plus two. Well, if you he's not in the original capital's continent. That could be a little helpful, but not much. That's not you helpful at all. I might have to just go monumentality uh, again. It's not really useful, but I mean, it's not terrible because I do have. I'm getting a lot of faith, so I, it gets me to my builders for free, right? And it allows them to do the work faster as well. I'm just going to go ahead and grab monumentality because this is barely any gold at all. I'm not doing international trade rest because I'm running everybody over. That little bit of loyalty is not worth it. And then this, of course, is useless, so. Back to back monumentality. Um, okay, so you're going to press lav. That'll help get us that trade right I was hoping for. Of course, I waited extra time, hoping it would be better. Um, Ooh, I can actually get all the way to Granada, but I don't really care for that. Um, if I were to go to Preslav, I think it just actually goes up here.
Wait, does it... If I go to press lab, does it go all the way up there and then back down? Oh, yeah, you know why? Because these guys have... This particular city has a trade post in this city. So it's not actually... I can't actually reach that without the trade post, but I can get to here and then do there. Favorite faith sieve? Uh, well, my favorite sieve to play with religion with is by far Russia. Not even remotely close. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Ah! My alarm went off and I forgot. That's the end of this episode. Hopefully we didn't go too long. I'm just, this is what happens. You get so focused on your military game and you're just strategically trying to figure out where to go next. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time, folks.